This is Burke. Now, according to the book, these hot-headed dragons are furious fire breathers. And when training a terror, start with a very shiny object. Aw, he's cute. Like legs, why don't you tell us about your Me loves my Gronkle, and Gronkles are tough, rock-eating, boulder-class dragons. How do you train a Gronkle? Gronkle won't stay mad at you if you just feed him a little dragon meal. These beasts live in the watery deep and they can outswim the fastest ship. Did Bork even know that the sea was full of dragons? Not at first, but he soon found out that the open sea was no easier. Because if there's one thing that sea dragons like to eat more than a fish, it's a whole boat load. The shark class. These dragons have a generous dose of vanity and spend a lot of time training. favorite is the deadly natter. Bork says that natters are the hottest fire in the dragon world. We found the best way to train her was to approach her carefully, slowly moving around back toward her tail. Symbol is that? It's a symbol for the mystery class. We don't really know how these guys work. That's why they're a mystery. What else is in the book? The Night Fury. Speed, unknown. Size, unknown. The unholy offspring of lightning and death itself. Every dragon in this class is characterized by blazing speed, vice-like jaw strength, and extreme intelligence. I give you the Skrill. This elusive creature is highly secretive 